Hey guys, what is up? It is Coach here, and today I'm going to do a starter series of videos called Strength Basics 101. So if you enjoyed this, um, please like it or share it, and um, keep following along with the series. On the first thing we're going to break down today is going to be just talking about strength training from a really basic point of view, um, breaking down how you get stronger, um, and just cover some, I guess, basics when it comes to developing and improving your strength because. Uh, I find that a lot of people, even though they are involved with exercise um, all the time, they maybe don't understand some of the principles that make someone stronger. And um, it's not as complicated as, as, as some people might want you to believe and you don't have to follow some crazy fancy method um, unless that's what you want to do. So what we're gonna start with today is, is break down the first part, which is understanding that um, you, have different, you have different strengths and different movement patterns. And some of the basic ones that most people are familiar with or most people are looking to get stronger with would be something simple like a squat, a push and a pull, which is the first point that we have there on the whiteboard. So pulling would be something like a deadlift um, and that's one way of testing your pull. A different variation of a pull would be something like a, like a pull up, which would be another way to test your, your pulling strength. Um, if you can't do a pull up, that would be one way to see where you're at right now with your strength. Um, then we have things like squatting. Can you squat? Can you squat your body weight? Just as in, can you do a basic body weight squat? Can you do um, a, a weighted squat like a back squat or a front squat or some variation of a weighted squat? Doesn't have to be a bar. It could be with a dumbbell or a medicine ball or any object. And then, can we give you some metrics um, like uh, different goals to set so that you have things to aim for? to determine whether you feel like you are strong enough, quote unquote, um, to, you know, as, as a metric to know whether you are or not. Um, then we have things like pushing. So pushing would be things like push-ups, um, uh, you know, things like pressing. So when you, when you press something overhead, that's a, that's a push essentially. When you are, um, you know, pushing, uh, doing a bench press, you're, it's a pushing motion. So we have those three basic, I guess, movements that we that we do every day, um, that we would go and do at a gym, um, that we probably might be doing at the gym. That we want to know how strong are we right now? Are those things, can we do them? If the if the answer is yes, tick. And then the next thing we want to look at is how strong are we at those, um, so that we can retest and then see if we're improving our strength or not. Um, which brings me to the next point, which is testing. So a lot of people say, I want to be stronger, but maybe don't have an idea of how strong they are right now. So something basic in training and, and any sort of training program, if you, if you don't follow one that you want to think about is where are you right now and where do you want to go? And um, uh, do you have an accurate idea of where you stand right now in your training? So if you don't understand where you stand in your training, maybe you don't know when you want a max back squat is. Maybe you don't know what your one at max deadlift is right now. And maybe you don't know what your one at max bench press. If I could give you five metrics to follow, they would be the following. Find out your one at max back squat, your one at max deadlift, your one at max um, strict press, shoulder press, um, how many push-ups you can do, and how many pull-ups you can do. And if you have those five metrics, you'll have a pretty good overall idea of, about your um, where your strength levels are right now. And then you can start following a program in 12 weeks from now, reset those five metrics and see if they have improved or not. If they haven't improved, then um, maybe the program you're following isn't adequate to improve those metrics. Um, or B, you, maybe you simply haven't gotten stronger. One of those metrics should go up if you're following a proper or a um, even like a half bad um, strength program. Most strength programs will make you stronger and at least one of those five different metrics. Then we have things like um, understanding exercise selection. So this is this is understanding that to get stronger at squatting, you don't have to just squat more. There's other exercise selection that you could be doing to improve your squat. Um, to improve your pull-ups, you don't have to just do more pull-ups. Is that one method to improve the movement? Yes, it is, but it's not the only method to improve the movement. There is a large variety of things that you could be doing that could help you improve that movement and, and get you stronger and stronger week by week so that when you retest 12 weeks from when you retest 12 weeks from now you see that you've had improvement um, so exercise selection is a huge thing and this is maybe one of those points where you would think about um, hiring a coach or seeking um, a PT or someone to help you out with your training so that you understand what exercises you need to do to get yourself stronger so that you, um, you, you are seeing improvement. 
Then we have the last point for today, which will be volume. So um, understanding how much work do you need to do to get um, the reward. So when we lift weights or when we challenge our body with body weight movements and we're lifting our own body weight, what we're creating is we're creating a stress on our body. We're creating a stress on the um, muscular system and we're creating a stress on our nervous system. Now, creating that stress will um, create a demand for our body to have to recruit more muscle fibers, recruit um, things that it is, isn't recruiting right now. And over time, by forcing the body to be challenged, it becomes stronger essentially in a really sort of basic way of explaining it. So understanding that uh, somebody who's really experienced with training will need a different level of volume than someone who's really brand new to training. If you're brand new to training, then you probably don't need to be doing like really, really, really heavy back squats and you don't need to be doing any crazy fancy exercises. You can probably get away with some really basic type of training. Like you can probably get away with maybe just body weight training. If right now you're doing nothing, then doing basic air squats and body weight squats are probably going to get you stronger. Um, push-ups, sit-ups, um, you know, bent variations of bent over rows, um, TRX rows, things like that. Those things are going to get you stronger. If you're a more experienced athlete and you have maybe a training background or, or a training age of six months to 10 years, then you're going to need something that's going to be a bit more advanced to help you take your training to that next level. So those are all things that you need to think about. Like how much volume does your training program have and is, is it adequate volume to get you to improve to the next place? On the next video, if you guys follow this channel and you guys follow along on, on Facebook or Instagram or wherever you found this, um, what we're going to be talking about is going to be significant volume versus insignificant volume. So things like understanding um, how much percentage you should be using in your, in your lifts and things of that nature. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this helps. Um, if you want to follow, just follow any of the links below. Um, take care and peace.